Hi everyone, it's Don, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, we got some really good news going on in the cruising industry, and I wanted to talk about the possible lifting of restrictions. Uh, here's something I'm, I'm thinking might happen. So first off, let's talk about the, the Carnival Legend. The Carnival Legend was set to sail on September 2nd of 2022. It is uh, a 14 day cruise, I believe, and it goes to Greenland, leaving out of Baltimore. And a lot of people were very excited about this. Normally, if you wanna to go to Greenland or Iceland, along those areas, you have to either leave from Europe, going on a transatlantic, or the other way around. You're doing another crossing this way. So that ship sold out. It was only announced like a week ago, and it was sold out instantly. Well, a lot of people were really disappointed because right at the beginning, the actual website was glitching on Carnival, and people couldn't actually book the cruise. So they were trying and trying and trying, and then they would call in the Carnival, and they'd end up spending hours online trying to get through to somebody, and then before you know it, the cruise sold out. Well, some good news. Carnival has added another one. They're doing the same cruise out of Baltimore to Greenland again, and they're doing it even earlier. They're doing it on August 13th. So if you can't go in August and you can only go in September, don't, don't, don't give disheart, okay? Because uh, some people who were booked in September may want to go in August, and so they may transfer their cruise to that. So keep checking that September cruise for availability. Don't count it out yet. But good news, that cruise sold out, and now another one is up if you missed it because of that glitch and things that were going on for Carnival that they, they apologize. So I'm really glad to see Carnival on the Carnival Legend put this, another cruise up there. The demand is there, people wanted to do it, and now people have another choice in order to get there. So uh, yeah, that sounds like a fun cruise. Some more good news this time coming from the Royal Caribbean Group uh, where they have reached a tentative deal with St. Thomas and St. Croix where they're going to expand the cruise ports uh, in a, add another pier. In St. Thomas, they're looking at adding two berths with a new pier and these berths will be large enough to accommodate some of the larger ships that Royal Caribbean has, the, including uh, the Quantum Class, which is out now, and the Quantum Plus, plus the brand new Icon Class. That's the one they want to really get in there is because it's going to be that hot new ticket, the brand new class of ship. So the Icon Class will be able to, to dock at this new pier. And they've reached a tentative agreement for that in St. Thomas. And then one step more, they're going to work after that on St. Croix and adding another pier there. And that pier will be able to take the Oasis class ship. So if it can take the Oasis class ship, it can take any ship in the world. So St. Croix will be able to take any of the cruise ships going there. There won't be a size restriction or you won't have to tender if they do decide to go to those places. So that's a good sign and a good job uh, for the economy in that area. They would love to see every extra passenger that can get off, especially under restrictions, right? If you have a lot of restrictions where capacity limits are there, then the larger ships will still bring in more people than the smaller ships on a daily basis. So that's one thing that they're looking at. And so St. Thomas, St. Croix could get some new piers that will accommodate Royal Caribbean's large ships. Now quickly before I get into the other two stories I have, let me just invite you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Really does help the channel out, it helps YouTube say, hey, people are watching the video, let's share it to some more people because they may enjoy it too. Doesn't cost anything and it really, really helps the channel and I'd really appreciate it. So, restrictions. There's been a lot of talking about what restrictions people would like to see. I like, I, I, I've seen comments, I want to see the mask restriction first one to go. I want to see the testing for vaccinated passengers go. I want to see the restrictions for vaccinations. I don't want to see vaccination. I've, I've heard 
a lot, a lot of ones that are out there. And the one that I think that they're going to really be working on first is going to be that mask policy. And here's one of the reasons I'm thinking that they're going to try that because I'm watching uh, other venues right now and you know even indoor venues like a basketball stadium places you don't have to they're not enforcing the mask regulations in a lot of these places my friend tony is down at vid summit that's a video like a youtube conference there that does training and all that they can have a thousand people there but there's a you know they'll, that'll be divided into a couple rooms but they tested people going in, but you don't have to be vaccinated to attend. And they say wear a mask, but I'm looking at the pictures from Bid Summit, and I'd say one in 30 are wearing a mask uh, while sitting in those rooms for hours and hours on end watching presentations and training seminars. So I'm thinking if you can put 500 people in a closed room uh, you know, not social distanced, really, uh, not vaccinated and not masked, why can't you do that on a cruise ship? You know, because cruise ships already are still doing the testing. They're still doing the vac vaccine only. So maybe that mask policy, uh, that one might be that one to start to go, especially since cases have finally started to ease their, their way down again in the United States. It was up to 160,000 cases a day, and now it's down to around 100. So that's a third drop in the last, I'd say, 24 days. So that's a good sign as long as winter doesn't spike us up there. So that could be the very first one to disappear. Remember, Celebrity Cruise Line, I think, is still not having a mask mandate on board, and there haven't been huge outbreaks on those ships. So if they compare that with other cruises, that's that are wearing the mask is it is there a difference and i think that's what they're studying right now so you may see some of those restrictions lift at the end of the month now another thing that people are asking me is don was there covid on alaska we don't hear anything about covid cases in alaska yes there was covid on my ship there was covid on the majestic princess at least on the second cruise I know for a fact uh, there was COVID on board because I heard them talking about it. I know a gentleman tested positive right beside me while we were waiting for testing. And I know there were four people on board because they reported on the walkie-talkies while I was standing there that we have to get those four COVID off the ship and sterilize the rooms immediately after they leave. So yes, did it disrupt the cruise at all? No. Only for those people. On my cruise, we saw Deck 9, which was the one directly above me. It was completely blocked off near the forward area of the ship. They blocked off tons of rooms. Not just one or two. Tons of rooms. And that's where they would move people into an isolated area. There would be no traffic up and down the corridors. They looked after the people there. They gave them full room service. There was no, there was none of this, uh, I can't reach anybody for 48 hours kind of thing that you heard a long time ago when that first happened. Or on some other ships, you hear people get off and they were complaining about it. None of that was happening. Um, I The person doesn't want to be mentioned, but I was talking to one person uh, who contacted me after the cruise about uh, catching COVID on board. And they said, yeah, the princess treated them really well. Uh, they were just in their room till the next port. And then they looked after them to get them back home safely. And they tested negative the minute they got back home uh, within two days. So apparently... There was COVID, but it did not disrupt the cruise. It did not disrupt any other passengers on board. And so that's what we're living with right now. And you could get that if you go to, to a school. You can get that if you're in a job, right? Uh, oh, the buddy person you work in the next cubicle tested positive for COVID. You better go get tested or you better go and get, isolate yourself. It's going to happen there as well. So I do feel that we're going to start to see some easing of restrictions slowly, and I think by the end of this month. So Halloween, November 1st, you're going to start seeing some restrictions ease. So that'll be interesting because I'm cruising during the 
the time between. So I'm cruising right up until the end of October, and then I'm cruising the first two weeks of November. So we'll see if those restrictions ease and what the differences are. And if I see any differences, I'll definitely let you know here on the channel. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel blogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.